I'm Richard Felzon, Product Manager at TCL Electronics Australia and New Zealand. Today I'm going to go through with you the basic setup and installation of our Android TV product. Even though here we've got our flagship X-Series 8K television, what I'm going to show you today applies to our S-Series, our P-Series, S and our C-Series, as well as the X-Series. When you set up your TV, there are a few things to consider before you start your setup. Number one is your network connection, and number two is your TV antenna. Um, so they're the first two things you're gonna be looking at. With your TV antenna, we always recommend that you have a an external TV antenna. So that's a TV antenna that's mounted on the roof, and therefore you'll also have a wall socket. In regards to your internet connection, um, you may either have Wi-Fi or ethernet connections. Let's get started and we'll, we'll go through this process together. So when you first turn your TV on, this is gonna be the menu that you first see. This is the welcome screen. The very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the country of operation. Now, it's gonna to default to English United Kingdom, or it may also default to Australia, depending on when you, when you turn it on. If you're in Australia, obviously you're gonna to need to, you're gonna to need to select Australia. You just simply scroll down. And you can see English Australia. Now, if you're in New Zealand, um, we probably also would recommend you just select English Australia. Um, this, this basically will determine the accent of the different countries. So if obviously US will determine the US accent, the UK will determine the English UK accent. It makes it easier for the voice recognition. But yeah, so we'll, we'll select English Australia. Now this gives you now the option on how to set up your Google accounts and so forth. Now you've got the option of using your phone to do the setup. For this purpose, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna enter our Google username and passwords directly. Um, so we can just select skip. Okay, so the first thing though, it's gonna ask is to select your Wi-Fi network. Now, as we mentioned earlier, if you're running ethernet, this step will automatically be skipped because you're already hooked up to the internet via the ethernet. But if you need to hook up to Wi-Fi, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna simply select your Wi-Fi network. And then you're gonna enter your Wi-Fi password. Now you're connected to the internet. So the next step it's gonna take you to now is actually setting up your Google account. Now, if you haven't got a Google account, what I just recommend is just go on your computer and you can just set up a simple Gmail account. Um, you can just set it up for the purpose of the television. So that's if you just want a fresh account just for your TV. Or if you have a, a as I said, if you've got a Google or a Gmail account, then use that existing account. And that's gonna give you access to all your, your Google functions. So it says make the most of your TV. So basically this allows you to get all your apps, um, all your updates and everything that you need. So we're gonna sign into Google. So, Again, you can either use your computer, so if you've got a, obviously a Google account, if you select by phone or computer, obviously you'll, dig in pro you'll get prompted on your phone to enter various codes and that'll carry over all your data. Um, or you, by using your remote, if you know your Google sort of account name or your Google email address and your password, you can just enter it directly. So use your remote. And in this screen, the first thing you're gonna do is enter your email address. And the next step obviously is your password. Now again, this is optional, um, but we do recommend you do log into a Google account because it does give you access to the Google Play Store and that's how you download all your apps. Also, you, it's in, you, you make sure all your TVs, background processes are up to date, your security is all up to date as well too. Um, then you're just gonna go through your regular terms and conditions. So obviously have a read of all the terms and conditions and when you're happy with everything you, you accept. You get, you get asked for an option for location. Now what location is, um, if you wanna ask for directions or something like that, it'll give you accurate directions. So how long will it take to get to work? It'll give you very accurate directions into that. Again, if you don't wanna do that, you just select no, but it makes one of those things that makes the experience a lot better. Okay, now, the TCL Android, Android range has access to the Google Assistant. 
So this is where you set up your Google Assistant. So you get better voice control of your TV. So we click continue. Again, just select, um, just go through the services and things and select. Depending on the TCL model that you have, your TV might have voice control, which means just using the words, okay, Google, will activate the Google Assistant function. This is just where you turn that function on. Now, this is a great function because it does allow you to control your TV, um, search basically things on Google and so forth, just by using your voice. It's a great function. So we're gonna turn that on. Now this is a section where you actually name your TV. This is very important because if you've got it set up in the Google environment or even simply Chromecasting, streaming and so forth, that the name of the TV is very important because it'll show up on your devices. Um, now, for example, if your TV is in the living room, you call it the living room TV. And what would happen then, if you've got another smart speaker, Google Home device, you can say, hey Google, turn on the living room TV. And then it'll, it'll recognize that living room TV and turn it on. So basically you, you give every device in your home a specific name. Um, you can also give it a custom name as well. So if it's in your office, you can call it the office TV or just office, Kenta. And you're done. Now, basically this is just a little walkthrough that the TV gives you about the Android environment. Um, so just a very, very quick introduction. Shows you to get apps from Google Play. So obviously your Google Play Store is gonna be your main hub to download all your apps. Talk to the Google Assistant. So after the setup, uh, you press the microphone button on your remote control, or like in this case, with the far-field microphone, you just simply talk to your TV with the OK Google command, and you can control the TV. And also cast to your TV. So things like Netflix, uh, Stan, if you're in New Zealand, things like TVNZ, uh, Sky Sports, you're able to cast those apps straight from your phone to the TV. That's the good thing about this whole Google environment and the fact that it's an Android TV. Okay, so now your TV is basically Android-wise and network-wise all set up. Now we actually move to the TV tuning side of things. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is your environment. Your environment is just the location that the TV is set in. Now, 99% of the times, you're just gonna set this to home. Uh, shop is actually a dealer mode, so when the TVs are on display in stores, in the home, you don't need it set up to that mode. So, okay, so you just keep this set to home. Now this is very important. Obviously, these models will work both in Australia and New Zealand. Um, so if you're in Australia, obviously you choose Australia. If you're in New Zealand, you're going to choose New Zealand. What will, so what happens if I'm in Australia and I choose New Zealand? When you do the auto-tune, you're actually not gonna receive any channels. So that's the key thing. So you need to make sure the country is set correct. And if for whatever reason you're not receiving any channels, you might just need to go back to this step and make sure you've selected the correct country. So we're in Australia, so we're gonna choose Australia. Channel installation. Okay, obviously now, the first and most important thing is you ensure that your TV antenna is connected like we showed you earlier in the video. Um, once you've done that, you can simply select scan automatically. Now you've got your tuner mode, which is antenna. So that's for both Australia and New Zealand. You keep it set to antenna. Now channel type, um, obviously you've got a couple of options here. You've got digital, you've got analog, and you've got analog and digital. Now in Australia and New Zealand, analog TV has already been switched off. So all you need to do is select digital. And then we select search and now your channels will start to tune. Now the number of channels will vary depending on what region you're in. Obviously, whether you're, if you're in Melbourne, Metro Melbourne, Metro Sydney, you're in Auckland, you're in Christchurch, there are different numbers of channels. Once your tuning is all done and complete, you're gonna see this particular screen. It tells you there are 61 channels that have been tuned in and zero analog channels. The zero analog channels is normal because there is no more analog TV broadcasted in Australia or New Zealand. The 61 channels, again, that will vary depending on where you are in Australia or New Zealand because different regions have got different channels. So some might have more, some might have less. Um, 61 for like a metropolitan area is generally pretty much what you're gonna get. So whether you're Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, that's about what you're gonna get. 
From here, you just simply click skip. Um, it, it does say scan other tuner modes, but you don't need to worry about that. All we need to do here is skip because now we're complete. Now you just go again through all your user agreements, um, have a read of them, and if you're happy with them, just agree to the agreements. And you're done. You are now set up um, to watch TV. You've simply got the icon here that says TV. You select it. And over here you can now see that your TV's channels have all tuned in. That wraps up the installation video for the TCL TVs. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.